when you heard about the prize that you were uh, invited to uh, collect the award, what was your first reaction? Well, um, I've, I've, I've been awarded prizes before and all, but it's very, very rare that there's actually um, an opportunity or an offer to be part of an event that is a recognition and an honoring. Yeah. So at first I thought, you know, I, I, I'm looking like, what is this, you know, because um, I didn't know. But then I, I looked into it and I read about it and I thought, wow, this is really very, uh, very special. We've been doing this from the end of the 70s already, eh? so yeah. for so long, uh, yeah. such a rich career. I, know. I think it's sometimes hard to, to, to look at your own achievements in a kind of way. This year has been one of those years that's been sort of like a little awakening because I've been in it for so long yeah. and you always, you always feel like you got to keep up with yourself yeah. and yeah. With, e yeah. with everybody and with others. But then after doing this Passion and Warfare tour, being on it, I realized the value that this record has had in some people's lives. I would just say, oh, thank you. Because I could never, I never processed it. I could never believe it. No. You know, I thought no. people were just being nice. You know, and I could never, re I never really felt like I was doing anything except what I loved, you know. Yeah. But then, you know, there, there comes a point where you think, these people are serious. So it, it, it was a learning curve for me. We gaan een nummer van hem coveren, Bad Horsey. Dus dat is vooral voor mij heel moeilijk, want uh, nee, ik doe niks. <laughs> dat is voor mij heel makkelijk. Zijn uh, oeuvre is natuurlijk heel uh, groot, ook over, over heel veel verschillende dingen. En uh, het leuke is dat onze drummer, die is echt diehard fan van hem. Dus dat is sowieso voor hem is het wel echt helemaal te gek om dit te mogen doen. En uh, Bad Horsey is een nummer wat denk ik het beste bij de band past. Bad Horsey is eigenlijk een soort van uh, ja, stoner rock. Een riff is echt gek, dus die past dan wel heel uh, goed. Dus ik denk dat we moeten, vooral moeten doen wat we, wat we uh, beter kunnen, zeg maar. En vooral niet proberen hem na te doen in, uh, in de virtuositeit. But 
For you, other guitarists who won, won this prize, people like Brian May, Steve Lukather, yeah. Slash. I guess you all know these guys. So when I heard that Brian was honored, it still doesn't compute to me that I could be mentioned even in the same sentence, you know. And of course, Steve Lukather, who's a dear friend of mine, and is just a a formidable talent. But he is just brilliant. And Steve Lukather, to me, when I remember moving out to California, he was the session guy. And I used to get these cassettes of him jamming at like these little, this little club called The Baked Potato. And I would listen, I go, what is going on here? And, and Slash, I have such, so much respect for Slash because there's some artists that you just wonder how, how things would have been if they didn't show up on the scene, you know? And Slash is like really carried that torch for so many young people of what it means to just be a cool rock guitar player who, who just, you know, is, is in touch with the instrument and in touch with that rock and roll credibility because he is that. Yeah, yeah. You know? So to be even in the same, you know, party is quite an honor.
Adriaan van den Berg, welkom op de Sena European Guitar Award 2016. Wat kun je over de winnaar zeggen, Steve Vai? Daar kan ik heel veel over zeggen, zoals veel mensen wel weten. Ik heb er um, heel lang mee gewerkt, mee getoerd, bijna anderhalf jaar mee getoerd. Wat voor de Whitesnake fans een bekend verhaal is, maar voor veel andere mensen misschien niet. Ik had um, de muziek geschreven voor um, de opvolger van de grote Whitesnake plaat 1987. En ik kreeg een polsblessure, dus na twee weken wachten, iedereen in de studio zat te wachten uh, tot het beter was, inclusief ikzelf natuurlijk, maar dat leek alleen maar slechter te worden. Dus toen hebben Dave en ik besloten van nou, we moeten gewoon het recreatoristen binnen zien te halen um, om die partijen in te spelen, weet je wel. Vai was daarvoor te poren. Dat was de perfecte man. Het was voor mij persoonlijk natuurlijk een beetje een rare ervaring en eigenlijk voor Steve ook een beetje, want uh, hij zat dus andermans muziek in te spelen en in mijn geval was het een soort babytje wat in één keer door iemand anders werd opgevoed, weet je wel. Maar het was tegelijkertijd een, een waanzinnig interessante ervaring, want allereerst om een anderhalf jaar lang het podium te delen en proberen overeind te blijven tegen een fenomeen als Steve, weet je wel, dat is, dat is wel een behoorlijke uitdaging, kan je wel zeggen. Oh, Adrian was, you know, we, we real, I really enjoyed being on tour with him. He's such a great guy, he's very artistic. He's very, um, He's very intelligent, he's a very smart guy and yeah. funny. He's got a great sense of humor. But the thing that I noticed most when I first started working with Adrian was the maturity of a European, how different Europeans are from Americans, you know? And the Dutch especially. The yeah. Dutch, I didn't, I did, back then, I didn't have on my radar the delicate cultural differences of the French, the German, the Italians, the Dutch. You were just Europeans. Europeans were Europeans. How yeah. did I know? <laughs> you know, I needed experience. And it was when I started to uh, travel a lot that I started to see not only the delicate personality, cultural differences, but even I could like, I could look at you guys and know that you're Dutch, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Adrian and the Dutch have such a um, practical, honest kind of way of speaking uh, if you're not re if you're not if you don't understand it you you could almost be insulted if your ego is you know but there's an honesty to it there's no you know and I learned I learned so much about that through Adrian because he was a gentleman it's gonna be great I haven't seen him in years I, know. Yeah. I wonder if he's gotten any taller <laughs> Ja, het is, het is raar gewoon dat het zo lange tijd geleden is, want je zit binnen één seconde is gewoon het gevoel alsof het vijf jaar geleden is, weet je wel, maar dat is veel langer dus. We, we hebben voor het eerst een lange tijd hebben we nou bij zitten praten. Ja, we, kunnen, we kunnen nogal twintig dagen doorgaan, dat hebben we natuurlijk hartstikke veel meegemaakt, de raarste gigs meegemaakt samen en, en hij was altijd heel complimenteus en dat vond ik nogal, uh, ja, nogal uh, interessant eigenlijk, want zo zie ik het zelf niet, weet je wel. Ik, ik, ik heb gitaar spelen altijd zelf gezien als... Iets wat ik nou eenmaal doe en uh, wat ik vanuit mijn hart doe en ik oefen zelden en als ik oefen dan oefen ik twee weken lekker veel en dan één keer weer malen niks. Dus, en dan sta je in één keer naast een, uh, naast een virtuose Steve, dus het was wel, uh, wel spannend. Vooral de eerste paar weken heb ik wel uh, gedacht van shit man, dan moet je natuurlijk overheen blijven naast die gozer, weet je wel. His approach to the blues, as far as the evolution of the blues, is very authentic. Yeah. His, it, it's rock blues and he had great tone, his vibrato, his intonation. It is very authentic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like a quirky, crazy, sitting on the branch and sawing it off, you know, kind of a player. But he was very solid. And I learned, I learned a lot from him. We hebben ontzettend veel lol gehad samen, weet je, en ook met Pia erbij, want een fantastische vrouw. Ja, daar is hij nog steeds bij, ja. dat is ook wel apart. Ja, dat is zeker apart. Je had hem ook voorgesteld aan Jan Akkerman. Ja, dat vond ik wel even tijd, weet je wel, want uh, Jan is natuurlijk een uh, instituut, weet je wel. En, en Steve kent Jan natuurlijk ook, want uh, Steve had ook wel uh, focus dingen vroeger gehoord en zo. Dus uh, ik vond het wel even tijd dat die gasten elkaar even de hand schudden. Het is een pleasure om je te ontmoeten. Ja, ik heb je muziek als
Jan had ook een ervaring met Zappa, waar Steve natuurlijk uit voort is gekomen, weet je, op zijn 21ste of zo. Dus uh, daar hebben ze ook even over staan praten en uh, ja, dat was, dat was gewoon mooi. De amazing Jan Akkerman. Ja. Stef de Holt Kies, Marijn van der Werf, drums en Ralf Pauw, bas. Thank you. What a hero. Klap, zegt hij. Jan Akkerman, a Dutch treasure. When you're focused on work, you know, which I love to do, yeah. uh, <clears throat> sometimes you don't realize, you know, you just, you, you work, you put it out, you do your best, you hope that it reaches the people that find some value in it, and then the next one comes and, you know, and there were some, some people say, oh, this is very nice, or this, you know, I, I almost don't want to, it's too much to take credit for yeah, yeah. when it means that much to somebody. <laughs> Occasionally, you know, somebody taps you on the shoulder and says, you know what, you really uh, have done quite an achievement here and we want to show our respect for your contribution. And that's just, it's a surprise. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 And it's a, it's a great honor, of course. Yeah. <laughs>
Tico Pirach and Richard When I first came to Europe in 1982 with Frank Zappa, and I landed in Holland, also at that time, I mean, I was 21, you know, I was studying all this metaphysical stuff, and I was like starting to learn like the concept of reincarnation, you know? So you start thinking, oh, I was, I was born here before and I was born there, you know, and all. And as soon as I landed in, in Holland, there was this, just a, a connection, a feeling, and I thought, I must have been born here before in a previous <laughs> life. I know it, I know it. I've given it some thought. And if you want to create a label for something that is creative, spiritual, positive, adventurous, funny, deep, light, unique. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Fai. No, no, no. Does it? No. Wait. This is Holland. We have protocols here. I mean, hey. Yeah, I know. You know? No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. He knows that. But uh, he'll talk. Don't worry. You'll hear his voice later on. But first of all, I would like to introduce you the uh, president supreme of the jury of the Sena European Guitar Award. Mr. Jean-Paul Heck. Now, good evening, good evening, everybody. How great to be see here, everybody at Gabaute. Steve, the jury report, hey, that has to go with it, so. Dear Mr. Vai, dear Steve, for the organization of the Sina European Guitar Award, the beautiful city of bergen op zoom and Gabaute, and the, and the great music theater we are now, but especially for the devoted fans who are here in front of you, it's a privilege to have you here. When I wrote the words for the short movie you just saw, our film editor said, can you maybe shorten it? It's too long. But we said, no. You say that about my solos. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, because we needed all those words to cover your career. Two years ago, we were in contact with each other for the first time about the Sina European Guitar Award. And it was the same year that Guns N' Roses Guitar Player Slash won the award. And when we talked with Slash about you as maybe a next winner, he said loud and clear, fuck man, Steve intimidates everyone with his playing. He's in a different league. He deserves every inch of that award. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he was totally right. And I know from my own experience, you never stop creating new music. When we had email contact the last two years, several times I've got a beautiful reply. Hi, sorry for the odd reply. I'm buried in many little notes and won't be able to respond to emails at this time. <laughs> it says it all, buried in many little notes. That's exactly what you are doing for more than 40 years. As people like Jimi Hendrix, Jeff Beck, and Jimmy Page before, you created your own guitar universe. After the early days with Frank Zappa, there were the first steps as a solo artist. Then came the supersonic hard rock days with Alcatraz, Dave D. Roth, and Whitesnake. It was a stellar beginning of an unbelievable solo career that is lasting now for more than 25 years. As a guitar player, you never took things for granted and still keep on pushing the envelope in an unbelievable way. With a re-release of Passion and Warfare combined with never released material on Modern Primitive last month, you once again proved the words of Slash. Steve is in a different league. You already inspired two generations of young guitar players and I'm sure there are still more to come. After Lene de Haaksma, Danny Lademacher, 
Adrian Vandenberg, Jan Akkerman, Steve Luketter, Brian May, George Koymans, Slash en Walter Trout. We are proudly to present the Sina European Guitar Award 2016 to Mr. Steve Vai. Thank you, Jean-Paul. And to present the award, Mr. Adrian Vandenberg. What a great thing to have them reunited. So, thank you, Adrian. Congratulations, Steve. Congratulations. And uh, before I have a little surprise for you, maybe you want to say something? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, first of all, I want to thank I want to thank Senna for the great work they do on behalf of the artists and the neighboring rights that they have brought to. <laughs> and hopefully are inspiring America to do the same. You know, I, 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 I just feel like I've had such a charmed career. You know, everything in the music business for me has just been sort of handed to me on a silver platter. There's challenges, but... Uh, it was always, it's a great adventure, and sometimes you put your head down and you focus really hard and you don't, you don't know really what's going on in the real world until somebody taps you on the shoulder and says, good work, you know? <laughs> and it is an incredible honor to be recognized for your contribution. And you know, I remember the first time that I've, uh, I came here to uh, Holland, I was 21 years old, and I was touring with Frank Zappa. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's, what I noticed through the years is whatever, wherever you go, there's sort of like a, a feeling in a place, you know? Like when I go to Northern California, I just feel good, you know? And uh, when I go to Moscow, I maybe, <laughs> no, it's fine. But uh, <laughs> I'm joking. But I remember the first time I, I landed in Holland, I, I had this feeling, and I was also reading these books about reincarnation and karma and all this stuff, and I said, I've been here before, I know it, I was born here before. I, it just felt so much like home, I don't know why. And uh, it's so interesting to look back now and see what uh, the, the support and what a rich career I've had in this incredible country. I go home and I have these little wooden shoes in my closet and I <laughs> just stare at them and want to go back to Holland. And I've just, like I say, I've, I, it's been ch a, a charmed career and one of the first great blessings I had uh, with my connection with Holland was with Co, Co de Clute, in 1983 when I released my first solo record, Flexible, he just showed me the contract. We actually had a contract. And it said, yes, you are the official distributor of Flexible in Europe. And uh, through the years, his support has been vital, unquantifiable, and immeasurable. And he's brought my, uh, my talents to the forefront of so many of you here in this country. And I could never thank you enough, my friend. The creative catalyst. And one of the other things I, I developed an awareness for through the years was how people are, are different. The diversity of cultures. And, you know, everybody has like a vibe. And each city, each country has a particular cultural kind of awareness in the people. And it took me many years to, to start identifying this, but one of, the, one of the great experiences that I have, and you know, touring is great, making records is wonderful, selling records is great, 
being honored is, is absolutely a privilege. But really, when, you're, when you find people that you are able to work with and you bond with and you respect, that's really, that's very, very fulfilling. And when I was just this crazy American and I joined this band White Snake, I was, uh, I was with different people from different cultures, really. And I feel so grateful that I've had the opportunity to work with one of your greatest here, Adrian Vandenberg, who's like my brother in this. And it was through him that I got, I got the, the, the real flavor of, of the Dutch people. A gentleman, a f great sense of humor, cultured, you know, and um, just practical. <laughs> These guys are very practical. <laughs> you say it like it is, and it's lovely. And uh, I feel so blessed to be able to have had all of these uh, relationships. And like I say, um, you, can, uh, you can work, and you can work, and you can work, and you can put out music, or put out art, or do things that is very personal to you. And it's important to do that for your own health, mental health, to be creative. And there's nothing like it when somebody taps you on the shoulder and says, good job. So I want to thank you so sincerely for this award. I am grateful. Thank you. Mr. Steve Fai. Hey, Steve, listen. He's going to perform for us. No, just kidding. But um, before you are going backstage to prepare for your uh, little concert you're going to do. I don't need to prepare. I'm ready. <laughs> Never interrupt the no. MC in Holland. <laughs> Never. See, very practical, to the point, honest. We have a little video surprise for you. Join me and stand here and watch the screen with Jean-Paul and me and all our friends here. Let's go. Hi Steve, this is George Koymans. I'd like to congratulate you with the, the European Cena Guitar Award. It's too bad I can't be there tonight, but uh, I would say have a good one and uh, enjoy the party. Goodbye. Ciao. Hey Steve, it's your pal, Mike Keneally, and I just wanted to congratulate you on this uh, very prestigious award. I think it's very cool. And uh, just say what a, a pleasure and an honor it was playing in your band for those years, and uh, how inspiring you are as a musician, and uh, certainly, uh, as I like to tell people, it was the, the best guitar lessons I ever got paid to take. Uh, playing those, uh, those parts with you. Amazing musicianship and amazing writing, incredible compositions. And uh, it's just a real pleasure and an honor to, uh, to have worked with you and to be your friend. And uh, I gotta say that Frank would be proud. So congratulations and love you, man. Yay, Steve Fai, congratulations on the Santa European Guitar Award. I've got a guitar in one hand and a daughter in the other, and we're here to congratulate you and say well done, and you're in great company there. So have a great night and well deserved, Steve. My dear friend and brother, Steve Vai, I want to congratulate you so much for this amazing award, and I can't think of anybody that deserves it more than you. You're a trailblazer, you're a trendsetter, you're a stylist, you stand above everyone else, man. I can't think of anyone that keeps consistently raising the bar and uh, inspiring with your work ethic and your constant growth as a guitar player, as a musician, and as a human being, you know? And uh, I respect you, I love you, all I could say is you're an inspiration to anybody that's ever picked up the guitar 
And I'm honored to call you a very, very dear friend of mine, and I do wish you a wonderful evening. I'm sorry I can't be there. I'm somewhere in Boston right now, actually. Um, but this is your night. Enjoy it. God bless you. I hope to see you very, very soon. So, Steve, fresh from Amsterdam, the Sina European Guitar Award, that was the only thing that you were missing, I guess, among all the other ones. But again, we love you, we know you super deserve it, and we're really happy for you. We're here playing in Amsterdam, and we got hit with this news, so we needed to make a little message and send you our love, supersonic blues love, to the godfather of guitar, Steve Vai. Thanks, bro. Steve, congratulations, dude. Wish you were here playing with us. We'll see you in LA. Congratulations, Steve. We love you, man. Supersonic Blues Machine, thank you for all your inspiration. No one deserves this award more than you do, Steve. We love you. Well, Altoid, here's my <laughs> award for you. Hey, Steve Vai, this is Walter Trout here, and I want to say congratulations on this beautiful award they're giving you tonight. I wish I could be there with you, but I'm actually playing right down the road from you tonight. Um, I have to say, I have followed your career for many years, and every time I see you play, I think I either got to go home and practice a whole lot, or maybe I should just quit and get a day job. You are truly an astounding musician. Um, you have taken guitar to places no one else has, and you continue growing, and it's just an amazingly beautiful thing you do. And um, I just want to say again, congratulations. I hope you have a great time tonight, and um, take care, man. Have fun. Hi, Steve. It's Dweezil here. Congratulations from me and uh, this guy over here on winning the Senna European Guitar Awards. You deserve it. Your playing is really creative and exciting, and I've been a fan ever since I first saw you, and I'm sure everybody out there is as well. So have fun, enjoy the night, and congratulations. Hi, Steve, it's your pal Todd. Congratulations on your award. I wish I was there. You're so lucky to be in Holland. And uh, say hi to all my friends. And have you got your cape on? Cause I got something for you. Spin, Steve, spin. Hello Steve, hello all you beautiful people there as well at the Cena Awards. Hey, it's your old friend Brian and I'm thrilled that you're getting this award. It's great that the young men are getting some of the action these days. This is an old man wishing you a fantastic day. I know you'll have a great time with those guys because I did in 2011. Congratulations on winning this incredible award and continue to bring magic to the world, dear friend. God bless. The friends of Mrs. Steve Fye. Thanking you again for everything. My last words of today on this stage are going to be Mr. Steve Vai. All right. And the last words I'm gonna say is that this award is truly an honor and I dedicate this award and any award I've ever received to the biggest influ influence and inspiration in my life, my beautiful wife, Pia. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you.
Thank you for that. I want to thank you not just for tonight, but for all of the years of support. I've been touring now for 37 years, and it is really quite a privilege and an honor to be able to come here to your country and to be receiving this unbelievable recognition. You are so fantastic, and I am grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. I'll see you next time, all right?